Competition. We've got uh, Neil Burney, who's a veterinarian from Bermuda. We've got a couple of other professionals from the uh, other Caribbean. We've got Bill Collins. So yeah, there's yeah, full-time jobs, family, family men, yeah. The Masters Division, age 35 to 40, experienced tough competition and great wind conditions. With the throwing bones, Tom, with the bones. We, threw, we danced the dance for the pros, but unfortunately we didn't get the, uh, we didn't get the participation from the pros because they did not believe. And what happened? They got skunked. The amateurs are believers, right? Oh! Animated on land, Neil Saxman Bernie couldn't help but be noticed on the water as well. His consistency earned him second after discard number one. Up to this point, Bill DeGeorge, 3E from New York, managed to stay right behind Neil in the point standings. Neil's results in rounds five and six placed him third overall in the slalom. The, the Aruban hospitality has been so wonderful, it brings out the best in all the races, particularly me. They seem to have taken me to their hearts, and I certainly have them, and I'm going to be coming back here for just as long as I can crawl, never mind Supermasters. It soon became apparent that the event belonged to the local guy, Hans Verplug, local in a roundabout ten away. He lived in Germany, but moved to Aruba. Now he set up a windsurfing school here on the island. Hans found himself in the number one position. But looking over his shoulder, he had to see Peter Zwiers. He was giving him a run for the top honors, but managed enough points to hold on for second. Hans' first place finish in rounds five and six clinched his first place master slalom victory. And here's a look at the master slalom, the overall standings, and indeed, Hans went on to win. Before we started, I thought it was going to be an easy race, uh, because this is the first time I raced masters. I'll tell you what, the masters, it's a tough competition. It's very, very tough. Super masters division comprises of men 41 years of age and up. And Tom, how many people you got here this year? Tom, we have 170 amateurs, we have over 100 professional windsurfers, and we've been very lucky this year with the help of American Airlines and the government of Aruba to get them over here from more than 33 countries around the world. And hundreds of sailors head to Aruba for a chance to streak through the blue seas of world-famous fishermen's huts at the beachfront. There are two weeks' worth of windsurfing events, with races for amateurs and world-class pros. The Aruba High Winds is now in its 10th year, and if you'd like to get on your board and get the feet wet, this is where the action is. 15. We will start 10, 15. Aruba has a great combination of temperature, sun, wind strength, and water conditions, and now it's game time. The boards streak back and forth at 30 knots, looking for that next marker buoy. This is the fast lane of the windsurfing world. Okay, I'm standing here with Julie Renfro, one of the organizers of this year's event, and also one of the best racers. Julie, what was the last race you did, and how did you do? Well, we just had a course racing, and they mixed the uh, women and the juniors together, and um, I was in second most of the way around the course, and then I pulled it off and uh, snuck by and won the event today. And uh, how were the racing conditions? Good wind, strong wind, and uh, how did you find the way the course was set? Well, it's the best course I've ever raced. I had a great time on it, and luckily it was long enough to where I was a little bit behind, and uh, I had the opportunity to catch back up and win the race. You will have to check very well. You will have to get back to the beach if you need to, to check when your next start is up. It's your responsibility. So there's a lot of stuff to put in your head. I hope you will be able to do that.
boys line up. This is strip search. Thing that ever happened to you in Highwind's case? Okay, well the most exciting thing is that I made my first loop in the start of the high winds without knowing it doing it. That's the most exciting thing I did I think. I only saw it on the video. Aruba. My name is Dasher, and I'm not a professional sports broadcaster, but I'll be playing one live each night on Channel 15 ATV's Real Live High Winds. But it still made me um, made it possible for me to build a site that uh, is uh, pretty much uh, okay. Uh, we pulled in a, a bunch of new tents and uh, created as much shade as we could for, uh, for our sailors. Dom, why don't you give us an update on what's happening with high winds? Thanks a lot, Dasha. Welcome to the 11th annual Aruba High Winds. I'm going to be with you throughout the rest of the